What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. We're back with the Art of War campaign and today we are going to do the naval battle. Sun Tzu stresses balance, but a commander will not always have his two feet on solid ground. Sometimes he must set sail to achieve victory. Rivers must be navigated to open new trade routes and oceans must be crossed to make new discoveries. But what if your opponent also has brought ships to sea? Sun Tzu teaches us, the onrush of a conquering force is like the bursting of pent-up waters into a chasm a thousand fathoms deep. You are not water shy, are you? Good. The captains of your fleet are awaiting your orders. You didn't really await my answer, there but okay. There are three main types of warships available for use against your opponents. Galleys equipped to fire from a distance, fire ships for close combat, and exploding demolition ships. Each of these warships has its own strengths and weaknesses. The war galley fires bolts from a long distance, but the fast, maneuverable fire ship with its high pierce armor is an excellent counter to it. Demolition ships, on the other hand, are fast and very effective at clearing out groups of enemy ships in one devastating explosion. They do especially well against groups of fire ships. However, if the approaching demolition ships are targeted by war galleys, they will be sunk before they can get close enough to cause any damage. Using the three ship types efficiently requires some practice. Hoist the sails and prove your mettle. Destroy all enemy warships, okay. Fire ships are a great counter to war galleys, but keep them away from enemy demolition ships. War galleys can attack from a long range, but are powerless against the flames of fire ships in close combat. Use them in large groups to outnumber the enemy fleet and, if possible, pair them with fire ships. Due to their area of effect attack, attack, demolition ships will destroy or heavily damage most ships or groups of ships in a single devastating explosion. They are useful against any warships, but only if they can manage to reach it. They can also be devastating against transport ships and land units. That's true, that's pretty fun if you kill land units with them. It is not easy to maneuver a demolition ship close to an enemy ship, distract your opponent with other ships before sending your demolition ships to attack. Do not hesitate to use your demolition ships. If destroyed, they will only count as losses if they do not reach their targets. That's good to know. Welcome. All right. This is a lot about timing. You want to first send in your fire ships, and then use these as bait because they will just be shot at. And now you basically do the same here and use these as bait. Unless we get stuck, that's terrible. Let's get rid of this one. Let's get our demos up now. We will use maybe two of them. We really shouldn't you lose a unit that early because if you lose a unit that early you might just restart, <laughs> honestly. Um, let's get two of them. The strategy starts the same, you still use your fire galleys first, or fire ships, and your galleys later, and you will retreat with these guys, you send them in here, and now you will destroy their ships here, and now we retreat. Try to prevent losses, good. So now we take stock, these two units, 
go up here. We have lost one warship, which is not great, but it's okay. These are basically intact. These are... I'm gonna get this one away as well. Because I'm a number four, in case everything... Well, if, this, if it goes this wrong, you might as well not bother. So if, Three and four, okay. So. What we will do now is different to what we did in the last ones. Okay, so and here we are back and gather our army a little bit closer together. So basically what we are trying to do now is lure some of our units away again like we did in the first two ones and we keep our war galleys close behind. And now we bring in our demos because soon their fireships will arrive and what I want to do is use my demos to get rid of some of their ships including their, their fireships as you can see here. Because their fireships are pretty much the most dangerous part about this when we use our fireships again against their war galleys. And here comes the, the other army, so we now retreat again. As you can see, what you want to do is lure their units away. And now we use a fire ship again to do big damage to, to their units. And now we pretty much used up all of our fire ships. And, well, we lost a ship here unnecessarily, but they are now out of demolition ships, so no more big blasts that ruin your entire army. Just another ship there. But as you can see right now they have pretty much nothing left and we just try to make sure we don't lose anything and we did. So I hope you can do this as well. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time. Farewell.